Following the 2020 season, the New York Jets won the Super Bowl thanks to the ingenious drafting and trades done by Rex Ryan and assistant general manager Elliot Wolf. Rex retired following the victory, content that he had finally proven his ability to win the big one. Elliott took over as GM of the team and in 2021 watched his superstar squad go 6 and 10. 6 and 10. Elliott was subsequently fired as soon as the season finished. He quickly rebounded though by becoming the general manager of the Atlanta Falcons. His first order of business was to trade for Lamar Jackson, and in doing so, he started trading away the older players with high cap value for draft capital. Lamar came in and led the team to a 13-3 record, only to lose in the Super Bowl. In 2023, Elliott didn't renew his contract with the Atlanta Falcons, instead electing to head out west to Los Angeles to help Sean McVay rebuild his Rams through the draft. This led to a blockbuster trade of Jared Goff and the team nailing an all-star draft class headed by Alabama quarterback Bryce Young. The team made it to the divisional round, but no further. Following the end of the 2023 season, Carolina Panthers owner David Tepper, tired of consecutive losing seasons, decided to relocate the team for a fresh start. He made deals with both Jerry Jones to lease his stadium in Austin, Texas for two years while the team's very own brand new stadium would be built in Las Vegas, so not to share with the now Las Vegas Raiders. Starting in 2024, the team was rebranded the Desperados. After a horrid season, everyone was fired. Elliott was brought in with total control to turn this team around, and with help from his legendary general manager father, Ron Wolf, Matt Patricia was hired as the head coach, and they quickly filled out the rest of the coaching staff. In 2025, their last season in Austin, the Desperados made a deep playoff run, getting to the AFC Championship game and coming within a field goal of advancing to the Super Bowl. And that leads us to present day. It's 2026, and with a fresh start in Las Vegas, a brand new stadium, and an up-and-coming team, the sky is the limit for Elliot's Desperados. But ever the perfectionist, Elliot isn't satisfied with certain positions on the team. So no matter how far the team gets this season, he has to have certain players coming into the draft next year, and the whole team knows it. So... Some players are playing for contract extensions this year. Some players are playing for positions on other teams. This is what everybody has to look forward to throughout this next season. So there you go, guys. That is the storyline for our first season coming into our Madden 20 relocation franchise featuring the Las Vegas Desperados. We have a lot to play for this season. If we can win a Super Bowl, damn it, we're going to win a Super Bowl. But some of these players are not going to be here next year. Some of these players we're going to trade off for better draft capital. That's why we have to play good this year so we raise their draft stock up. Also, this team is going to be going by your storyline. So remember, drop those down below. Now really quickly before we get out of here, we are going to go through our team position by position so you know what we got. So our team is led by second year quarterback freight train Doug Tubbs with 99 throw power. Check that out, 99. We have some speed. Our team is all about speed with Anthony McFarlane leading the running back core that we have with Ron Offerman also. Jax Olean or Dineen isn't really my favorite. He's kind of slow. But we do have Henry Ruggs, we have DJ Quick, Anthony Schwartz, and TJ Collins. I told you, speed. We also got some pretty fast tight ends with Trevenio and Messina. Paris Johnson Jr. is going to be our left tackle. Alex Leatherwood, even though he's in his sixth year, he's still going strong at 80 overall with our left guard. Buck Goddard is going to be our starting center at 74 overall. 
Ty Poindexter is bringing up with his only in his second year superstar right guard. And then Isaiah Williamson is there for our right tackle at 76 overall, even though he is getting a little up there in age. Chris Stone is our reinforcement at left end at 84 overall in his third year. Trayvon Frazier is a bit of a journeyman in his third year. He's only 76 overall, but damn, look at those numbers. Another journeyman, P.J. Mustafer. He's going to be our starting defensive tackle. Clinton Guyton is going to be our main outside linebacker at 83 overall. Why? I'll show you in a second. Addison Anderson is going to be leading our middle linebackers with Kendall Murray bringing up the rear. And this is why Guyton is going to be the main guy because Robert Connell is only 69 overall. CJ Henderson leads our cornerbacks followed by Eubanks, Locker, and Fred Davis II. Roger Law in his second year is coming in as our shutdown free safety at 82 overall. And then Denard Yancey is going to be our main strong safety at 78 overall. But look at those numbers. He's pretty fast and he's pretty strong. Joshua Cardi is going to be our main kicker. And Will Reichard is going to be our punter at 75 overall. Not bad numbers though, 95 kick power, 92 accuracy. And as you can see, we have a pretty good positioning with the 28th pick so far. So there you go, guys. There is our storyline for the first season. There is our team for the first season. Also, I didn't get into it, but we are not rocking with our typical, typical schemes. I can't talk right now because I've talked so much. Uh, but we are rocking with 100% Matt Patricia, Detroit Lions offense and defense. So that could make all the difference on whether we win games or we lose games. So guys, with that being said, thank you for coming to the end of the video. If you are new to this channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and enable all notifications. Remember to leave your comments down below because this team is controlled by you guys. I'll catch you guys next time.